Welcome to the next episode of What's Crap on WhatsApp, the voice note show that investigates the crap shared in your WhatsApp groups. I'm Andesua May from podcasting company Volume. And I'm Kate Wilkinson from Africa Check, the continent's leading fact-checking organization. Do you think you know if these viral online claims are true or false? Let's find out together. Today, we have three claims to investigate. Are South African police not allowed to shoot back when they are shot at? Do viral online photos show a baby born in South Africa with progeria? And can you treat kidney stones, hepatitis or measles with coconut oil? Let's get fact-checking. So what's first for this episode, Kate? Kenneth Meshwe, Christian pastor, member of parliament and leader of the African Christian Democratic Party, made a claim about the police's ability to defend themselves. Let's listen to what he had to say. My question has to do with the safety of the police. During the, the riots and the looting, we saw some police withdrawing uh, from the mobs that were charging. And when we asked them, why they were withdrawing. They said they were not allowed to shoot at the protesters, even those who were armed. And then secondly, some of them said it was difficult for them to be hard because they are using public transport. And some of those who are demonstrating are saying to them, we will get you in the bus or in the train and we know where you stay. So under such conditions, how can the police be effective in doing their duty when they know that they are so vulnerable, they are not allowed to shoot even when they are shot at, and they still have to travel with people that have been looting and that have said to them, we are going to get you, we know where you stay, and we know how you are going home. Meshwe said he was concerned about the safety of the police as some were seen withdrawing in the face of charging mobs during unrest in South Africa in July. The protests were sparked by the arrest of former President Jacob Zuma. But is he correct? Africa Check contacted David Bruce, an independent researcher specializing in crime and criminal justice. He had this to say. The short answer is that Reverend Meshwe is plainly wrong. He said that all people in South Africa have a right to use force in self-defense. He added that there is no basis for claiming that police are denied this right. While there are some restrictions on the use of force in self-defense, these would not prevent police from firing back when fired upon. But if the police officer can defend themselves successfully without using lethal force, I assume the law would expect them to do so. That's right, but this still allows them to use lethal force to defend themselves if they face the threat of being shot. Self-defense is governed both by South Africa's common law and the Criminal Procedure Act, which regulates when police officers can use deadly force. So this claim is crap then? Complete crap. Next, we are investigating photos of a mother and her baby that have been doing the rounds on Facebook with over a million views in just 24 hours. Let me see. So the baby in the picture has an unusually wrinkled face. And the caption of the photo reads, a 20-year-old lady give birth to an 80-year-old looking baby. Other posts say that it shows a two-month-old baby somewhere in Nigeria. So what's the story here? A Google reverse image search of the photos led us to an article about the mother and her baby. It says they're from South Africa's Eastern Cape province. We then searched for 80-year-old baby in Eastern Cape and found an SABC News article about the pair. It says that the mother is a 20-year-old from Liborte in the Eastern Cape and that the baby was born with a rare genetic condition known as progeria. The article says that local midwives noticed that the baby exhibited signs that were different from other babies. These included hand deformities and wrinkled skin. And the article adds that the photos of the mother and baby that have been circulating on social media, some with unkind comments. What is progeria? According to the U.S. National Organization for Rare Diseases, progeria is also known as Hutchinson-Guilford progeria syndrome. 
It is a rare and fatal childhood genetic condition. Progeria presents striking features resembling premature aging. It says that at approximately 9 to 24 months of age, affected children begin to experience profound growth delays, resulting in short stature and low weight. The Mayo Clinic explains that some of the symptoms of progeria include below average height and weight, hair loss, including the eyelashes and eyebrows, and thinning, spotting, and wrinkled skin. So this claim is not crap then? Nope, it's completely true. Last on our list today is a lengthy message on Facebook that makes several claims about the power of coconut oil. It says that coconut oil is really effective when it comes to kidney and urinary tract infections. The claim also says that coconut oil can flush out kidney stones and destroy hepatitis and measles. Coconut oil comes from the coconut fruit of palm trees. The oil is made by shaving or grating the white meat found inside the coconut. I'd love some of this miracle coconut oil, but is it even true? So let's start with the claim that it flushes out kidney stones, which are mineral deposits that form when the urine crystallizes in Inside the kidneys. One expert told Africa Check that this was the first time we heard about the possibility of coconut oil being suggested as a treatment. He said that water, not any other fluid, is the suggested drink to help with flushing out kidney stones. But a person with kidney stones should seek medical attention. But what about the claims that it can treat hepatitis and measles? They're both false. Experts told Africa Check that coconut oil can definitely not treat hepatitis. And there's no specific treatment for measles because it's a viral infection. So this claim is crap then? Yes. Whether you're suffering from kidney stones, hepatitis or measles, it's best to consult your doctor before taking any home remedy. That's all the time we have for today. Now you know what's crap and what's not. Your friends and family can sign up for the show over WhatsApp. The number is 082-709-3527. Make sure to save us as a contact in your phone and then send us a message to confirm. You can find the show wherever you get your podcasts, from Apple to Spotify. If you listen there, you'll find the show notes and a link to the fact checks. And we're also running a regular weekly newsletter and you should subscribe. To do this, simply send us your email address on WhatsApp. Or you can sign up at our website, www.whatscrap.africa. And remember that you can send us a WhatsApp message, a picture, video, link or voice note that you need fact-checked. Just forward them to us on WhatsApp. Our theme song is composed by John Bartman. I'm Kate Wilkinson. And I'm Andy Suemi. Bye for now. volume